All right, this is a review of Rufi's tour, which was in San Francisco I attended. I had the platinum ticket, which cost $249. A bit expensive, but it was well worth it. The happy hour and speech talk was about $50 and did not include the dinner. So I attended the dinner, which was the night before the actual talk. What's funny is that I was actually one of the last ones to actually get a ticket. So maybe it was an act of God how I got in. I even got an email to prove it. My first impression is a roosh. I walked in a little early to the bar and immediately he asked me, who are you and where are you from? Somewhat ironic, because that was typically what a beta male would say or how females act around you. And sometimes that's what guys actually ask chicks nowadays is that basic question. And I did not ask him where the pet store is. It was about a four hour dinner at a grill. I went ahead straight into the speech and happy hour, which was actually the next day. It was at the Hilton in downtown San Francisco. There was about 50 to 70 of us. I asked no questions since I already had all my questions asked the day before, at least most of them. I was going to let other people have a chance to ask questions since they didn't have a chance. Some of the guests were very religious and had known about Roosh through his orthodox missions. There were about five females around. They asked some good questions and even some raunchy questions. In this speech, he pretty much prepared all around the country about 30 cities. So he was dropping wisdom on his spiritual path, is what I would say. He admits to wasting 10 years as a pickup artist, just chasing his vices. He complains too much about being old. And he could be heartfelt in the way Roosh talked about his sister. Since she died of cancer, he did not get to spend as much time with her as he wanted. You could almost sense a teary emotion. He was dropping wisdom. And now I'm going to talk about the dinner, the platinum ticket. My thoughts on Roosh. And I always wondered, why are you gone so long? What are you doing? out there in Europe, chasing tail, reading books, helping men, and then chasing tail. That is a weird lifestyle. A few of the questions I want to keep private since it was somewhat personal, and I did troll him a bit, so, and by his reactions, he knew what I was doing. He answered the four of our questions, and I don't want to reveal the people that I had the talk with. It's best to keep it secret, and I do consider Roosh not a friend, but an internet friend. One question that stood out to me is the mentors how he did not really have a mentor to help him out. Because most of the time you can find someone who's able to help you out in life. You meet someone on your journey and Roosh admitted that he didn't really have that. I do think he did personally, but he just didn't listen. I asked him about the trad thoughts and the thought audit, how he's not made any comments after that. So he's moving on into a friendlier mode, especially with his book called Lady. I was disappointed on his cold approach opinion. And since he's on his spiritual path, I will give him a break. I do not agree with what he said about cold approach. However, if you look at this video, you'll see an old Roosh. I do connect more with this old Roosh. I was surprised that he was not recommending travel to the other young guy at the dinner. And he somewhat said, home is where you belong. And obviously you could read him that he wished he could. He's in, dropping the wisdom to help the younger guy since he wants to travel and meet chicks or to get out of the Bay Area, which is a smart move. I trolled him a bit and I did get bad reactions. And he is reading the Bible. I can tell by the way he talks and the way he cites things. And surprisingly, after the dinner, we took a walk to see the clubs. And he was strung on the chicks of San Francisco, like his eyes would not move. And it's somewhat apparent that he he suffered from sexual addiction or something very close to that, and he's fighting it. Now there's my advice. Look outside the triple R's, Rouge, Roycey, and Rolo. Roycey is one of the best writers for the Manosphere, his wicked writing and his nationalism. Rolo's a bit too technical and evil psych, while Rouge has the experience and it's just clouded with so much vice it's hard to pick up. I've read most of his books and I would consider Rouge and Pook my favorites. And I will be ruining Pook's book thoroughly in the future, since Pook in general has not shown his face or put himself out there for the public to see. And my last thoughts are, I do wish Roosh the best on a spiritual path. It is obvious he is taking this religious path and he will develop and grow stronger with this path. He does know who I am. I trolled him enough on his own dinner and I do think he'll be a new and reformed Roosh. The ticket was worth it. It sounds expensive, $250, but that is not expensive for, for me or the San Francisco Bay Area. 
it was cool that I could get confirmation on my questions and my comparisons with Roosh. He's someone who's very similar to me, especially in travel. And I could get his opinion on the Manosphere. I won't tell you everything, but I'll keep it in a positive light. I was disappointed in his cold approach opinion. Cold approach is king. And in terms of mentors, getting mentors, I believe, is a wrong approach. They will approach you. The pivotal and big difference for me is I had mentors. They were brief, yet they were highly influential. My advice when you get a mentor is listen, talk the truth and in stories, and start a fight. It's kind of comical that I could have ended up like Roosh. Roosh is on a better future as well as I. See the links below. You'll see the Code Approach video, the Trad Thought video, the Thought Out with Philly DeFranco, Roosh and Dr. Oz, which was comical back then. My review of his book, Free Speech Isn't Free, his San Francisco review on his travel vlog, and I will be viewing most of his books, even if they're banned. And I would check out his tour. I do not think he's going to be touring again. Even though it seemed like he wasn't going to tour again and he didn't want to come to the West Coast, I do think he's going to go back out again. He's going to figure it out.